Hi, I'm Bill Reinch. I've been working in international trade for over 35 years, which makes me really old. And I'm a trade guy. Today you're getting a little history lesson. We're going to talk about the Bretton Woods system. So the year is 1944. The end of World War II is in sight. The Allies, realizing that they were going to win, wanted to get together and talk about creating a world where war and depression could never happen again. They met in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. There they spent a month negotiating. There were 730 people or delegates from 44 different countries, all our allies. And essentially what they did was create a three-legged stool, a tripod of institutions to guide the post-war world. This is how that three-legged stool works today. The first leg is the International Monetary Fund, or IMF. The IMF works with countries that are having problems with money, problems with debt, and paying back the money that they've borrowed. And the IMF gives them advice on how to change their internal policies and structures in order to fix the problems that they've got. The second leg is the World Bank. Back in 1944, when the delegates met at Bretton Woods, they realized that poverty is a big motivating force when it comes to conflict and violence. And they decided that if they could help countries grow and create jobs, there would be a better chance of peace. So the World Bank is primarily a lending institution with a goal of ending extreme poverty, and it lends money to poor countries for economic development. The third leg of the stool, as it stands today, is the World Trade Organization, or WTO. The WTO promotes global trade and free trade, and it also functions as a courtroom for member countries to resolve trade disputes with one another. Basically, the WTO upholds the rules of international trade. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Trade Guys videos.